Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Students. Today I am going to explain utility analysis. And we will also see important features of utility. Sure, sir. At first, try to understand the meaning of utility. Utility refers to one satisfying capacity of a commodity. It is the capacity of a commodity which satisfy human wants. Sir, can you explain it? With any examples? Definitely. Students. Right now. In your classroom. Fan as well as. AC. Both are working, right? Yes sir. Now tell me. Which gives you. More satisfaction. Fan. Or AC? Certainly. AC sir. It means. AC has more capacity as compared to fan. Right? Right, sir. So I can say. AC gives us. More utility. As compared to fan, right? So, sir, utility means. Satisfaction. Is it? No. Don't go on conclusion directly. It is a wide concept. Let me give you. Some more examples. Okay, sir. What is your name? My name is Tom, sir. Tom, tell me. Are you vegetarian? Or non-vegetarian? Sir, I am vegetarian. So Tom, if I offer you any non-vegetarian dish to eat, will you have it? Certainly not, sir. See students, being a vegetarian. Tom refused my offer. But if I offer non-vegetarian dish to any non-vegetarian person he will certainly accept my offer what I am trying to explain here utility is subjective concept it is different from person to person it is a psychological phenomenon smokers find utility in cigarette non-smoker does not find any utility in cigarette, right? Right, sir. Utility also. A relative concept. Relative concept. How it is, sir? Let me explain. Utility is related to place and time. Wool and clothes gives more utility to a person who lives in Kashmir than to a person who lives in Mumbai, right? Absolutely right, sir. This example. Explain place utility, sir. Yes, Tom, you are getting my point. As you know, an umbrella gives more utility during a rainy season than winter. Right? Right, sir. Now I understood. Utility is a relative concept. It is related to place and time. Few minutes before, Tom concluded that Utility means satisfaction. Let me explain that. A very much thirsty person gets satisfaction when he drinks a glass of water. Right? Right, sir. But if you show a glass of water to a person who is very much thirsty without having water, only by admiring, he gets utility. What I am trying to say. See the difference between Satisfaction and utility. Satisfaction is obtained after the consumption. A very much thirsty person gets satisfied when he drinks water from the glass. But utility is present for the consumption. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. I understood. Tell me, Tom, what you understood. Utility and satisfaction are two different concepts. Utility is differ from satisfaction. Absolutely right. Sir, can I ask you? One question? Yes, why not? Is utility same as pleasure? Good question, Tom. Tom, do you know pleasure means what? Not exactly, sir. Okay, no problem. Students. Pleasure means happiness. Utility and pleasure are two different concepts. Let me explain you. By asking you one question, 
when we are not well. We used to go to a clinic. Visit the doctor, right? Certainly, sir. Tell me. When doctor give you injection, does it give you any kind of happiness or pleasure? No, sir. It hurts. Exactly. Now tell me, when you take medicines given by doctor, its taste gives you any kind of pleasure? Oh, no, sir. Maximum medicines are bitter in taste. Okay, then tell me, why do you take medicines, sir? It helps us to cure. Exactly. It helps us to cure. Means it gives us utility. So students, try to understand my point. Bitter taste of medicines does not give us any pleasure, but it gives us utility. As it helps us to cure. This proved that utility and pleasure are two different concepts. Utility is different from pleasure. Now students I am going to tell you how to write all these things in your... <laughs>